So, Fishin's he had two takes this week. He said Bryson. He had, he said he had to throw this one in there, and I said I'll allow it. <laughs> Bryson Barnes is going to be a problem for teams in the future, basically. The Mormon soldier. Yeah, the no, the winter Mormon. That's what we said. <laughs> I don't even no, know if I he's Mormon. Mor- I I just said the Mormon soldier because of Utah. Yeah, well, we said the well, well, it's kept calling him Bucky Barnes during the game, but yeah, Bryson Barnes so is going to be a problem for teams. Man. We, you speak in French? <laughs> nah, man, hold up. Let me live, bro. Let me live. <laughs> That's like I'll I'm put back the tape. Up. Don't test me. <laughs> so Bryson Barnes in his game against USC really impressed all of us. Mm-hmm. He had ice in his veins the whole game. 14 for 23, 235 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, 10 carries for 57 yards and a touchdown. Mm-hmm. The boy was an absolute demon. He looked good in his first game of the season. He's been hurt, battling some injuries, going back and forth with the other quarterback. And he got his first full start yet again in this game. After I think he was coming off a game where he didn't throw any touchdowns or one interception, I believe. But Bryson Barnes versus USC was absolutely electric. Thoughts, gentlemen. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. My boy. So, Sora mentioned this, I think, last night or a couple of nights ago. Cam Rising is going to be eligible to come back to college because he's missing the whole year. Now, the real question is, if Bryson Barnes is playing like this and continues to play like this at the end of the season, who's going to be the starter there next year? Because one of them's going to transfer out. Wait, Cam Rising can come back? Yeah, because yeah, he didn't play the entirety of the year. year. But did he get approved for his red shirt? I'm they pretty sure to? he can come back on injury, though. Yeah. You can, based, off of, based off of injury, I'm pretty sure I he's think he has to, to come back. But I Unless, think he has to apply for it. Okay, unless there's an extra stra- uh, step, which might be the applying for, but I'm pretty sure because Barnes. he was out for the entirety of the year that he is able to come back. But you could also be correct of he has to apply for it. Because I was about to say, if it's possible that there's a tight end in Miami who's been playing college for nine years, I'm pretty sure Cam Rising will be eligible. It's because of the injury. I mean, if why wait? Applies. Why and wait? Just go COVID for it. year is still technically in effect. Yeah. Yeah. That's very true. It's very so, true. Let's say he does come back to college for one more year. Who do you ride with? D- and do you transfer if you're Cam Rising? Yeah. Like if if your name one of these guys will probably transfer, transfer to BYU out. just to make everyone angry. So <laughs> so from desert.com there was an article that says Utah quarterback Cam Rising is considering a medical redshirt, which would allow him okay, to return yeah, for his seventh year eligible. Apply, but more than likely, we'll get approved, and then yeah, it being, it being called the medical redshirt. Yeah, the season the injury would be season ending. So if Rising and Brant Cuthy injuries cause them to miss the first six games this season, they would have not to play a snap this year to be eligible for a medical redshirt. However, if they are hurt initially. If they play at any time later on, that negates the medical redshirt. So why the hell would which, you play? Which, which Cam Rising Cam said. Rising's already been shut down. Yeah, he, coach. He himself said, "I'm not playing. I, like this is worse than what it thinks." This coach injury. Kyle Whittingham open to the idea of medical redshirts for Rising, but there haven't been any significant discussions about possibility of doing so. So. This leaves Bryson Barnes to consider a couple of things, especially if he plays out the rest of his season, mm-hmm. which is going to be very, very, looks, very interesting. And, and looks, looks good. real good, too, especially if the Pac-12 for Utah for the third straight year in a row. Yeah. It's going to be real interesting because keep in mind, this is their third string. Mm-hmm. And he's used to transfer. Remember, uh, Cam Bryson was initially playing mm-hmm. for Texas before he went to Utah. Yeah. So really, it's just who are we keeping with here? Are you going to ride with the hot hand and Bryson Barnes, or do or you, you ride go back to old face and Cam Rising just for one last year? Like, uh, I guess this. I guess this is going to come down to who decides to transfer first, or who, or if they are. We might run into a um, an old Miss situation where they got Jackson Dart 
and Spencer Sanders. Yeah. I'm not saying Spencer Sanders is good, but I just don't get why he would waste one year eligibility knowing that he's not going to start for this team. <laughs> oh, that I mean, that is, that is true. We, and that is another thing. Technically, Bryson Barnes could have another year if Cam were to come back play next year, play through all that, and then Bryson Barnes could take it. But uh, well, the way you've been playing, a, why, why wait a year? Uh, here, no, I'm yeah. playing now. Also, so much for uh, Cam Rising Heisman, huh? Yeah. How you, how you feel, How you feel, Hayden? You feel? Um, when I heard the news, I'm, I'm I had to call that, Hayden. I'm I had to like call that, Hayden make sure he was doing all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that monkey on life support. I'm Dante during the draft. Yeah. 